Hello again! We are here where we left off last episode. And at first I should store away these stars and yeah, we don't need the book. And I forgot one thing. We should learn from our mistakes, so this time he will have a name, just in case he dies. Okay, so let me get some things ready and uh, yeah, today I want to build a XP farm because uh, in the cave spider farm, I mean it's working nice but you have to stand there AFK and uh, if you f forget to come back uh, in time then it gets really laggy and can even be dangerous for your world. So I want to build another XP farm because that's not ideal at the moment. So yeah, let me just get a few things ready and then we will start. Yeah, Snowball 2 just died. I don't know exactly why. I think it was raining or something, but uh, yeah, he hasn't produced a single Snowball. But uh, I prepared everything we need and um, brought my dogs with me. And behind this portal there is a stronghold. Let's at first send the dogs through. Come on. Ah. Yeah, no. Okay. And uh, yeah, I need a stronghold for the XP farm I want to build. And no, it's not an Enderman XP farm. I know you probably expect me to build the fastest XP farm in Minecraft in uh, this world, but I don't plan to at the moment. Um, I plan to do a silverfish farm, so the silverfish spawner should be here. I already, yeah, it's here. Um, I already placed uh, the stone around so silverfish can spawn. Actually it was a few episodes uh, back I <laughs> wanted to get new ender pearls but I haven't activated the portal yet. But yeah, I will uh, start mining out the space here and um, place blocks around so they can get out and then we can yeah, make it an XP farm.
time to uh, turn off the silverfish spawning so we can work a little bit better there and we will simply do that by putting a layer of redstone lamps in here like for example Iso did in his uh, silverfish farm as well so let me just craft a few uh, redstone lamps oh and I forgot redstone to wire them well we won't need all the redstone lamps so it should be fine let's see Yeah, and it will. Uh, th these redstone lamps will have light level 15, and um, I think silverfish are able to spawn in light level 12 or below. Or what was it? Uh, below 12. Should be 15 below, uh, 14, 13, 12. Yeah, I think they can uh, spawn in light level 11 or lower. I'm not entirely sure, but if you place redstone lamps like this, they of course can spawn. Um, yeah, they can hear silverfish all the time, I don't know where they are, but we will find some sooner or later. Let's see how to wire this. Where's the center over here? Yeah. And have a wire here. Yeah, I think that should do it. We have it like this. And connect it here. Yep. Yeah, okay. I forgot these blocks, of course. Let's just extend it one more block to, to all sides. And there we go. Now we can remove the cover below. Oops. And nothing should should be able to spawn. I don't know if I will uh, use this XP for much yet. Oh, what? The <laughs> they were all in the portal there. Oh no, I don't want to kill my dog. Okay. Yeah, there was one block missing here. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know if I will use this farm a lot, but... Um, if it's working nice, then um, I will maybe remove th this portal here. Um, but yeah, I ah, hit the dog again. But I don't know yet. So the idea of this uh, farm is, um, since there is a beacon, we can build a fully automatic XP farm. Um, Wubi told me that and you speak. Oh, yeah. Now I broke it up there. And uh, I asked him, and he said he's fine uh, if I try to do it. He's fine, fine with it. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, I am. Mm. The idea is uh, the silverfish will uh, attack us, and then um, the dogs will kill the silverfish and uh, we get XP and since we can regen or can have a um, permanent regen potion with the beacons um, the silverfish will not be able to kill us if everything uh, turns out right so um, we can stand fully AFK there and collect XP and yeah it's I will have the um, floor in here and have water streams going to a center here and then I think we have to drop the silver fish um, 11 blocks or no how, how many hearts do silver fish have or maybe 10 blocks I don't know I have to yeah I, I will just uh, test it I will dig down till the silver fish uh, die from the drop and then place one more block from there all right so that's all the blocks now I will have fences in these holes here. Oh, maybe let me show you the whole thing a little bit different. And uh, my inventory is full, of course. So I will have um, water back here in the corners, 
and it should push everything in the center here and then I will have fences all around here and um, yeah I need to update the water here uh, okay yeah now it's working Yeah, the water streams will push the silverfish into this hole here. And since there are fences, they can get stuck in the block below. Because um, if you have a solid block here, like say a snow block, the silverfish are only, um, I don't know how, how high they are, but less than one block they, they could stuck uh, get stuck in there. Um, I had this problem with the uh, cave spiders, so I put fences there, and since I did that, I never saw a silverfish getting stuck in one of these blocks or a cave spider. It should, it should be the same. Um, yeah, they can still spawn here because we got this block there, and it's not letting light through. I haven't thought about that I have to put glass or any other transparent block in there. Um, do we have anything on us? Stop it, guy. Uh, no. We could use fans, but uh, then eventually Silverfish could land there. I will get class for that and uh, do it later. Yeah, but now I will start um, digging down here. Yeah. Alright, first I should get my dogs out of the way. So, my plan is to put fences here, and uh, silverfish will be able to drop down between the fences and the block. Or I, w I will put uh, fences in this block as well, and solid blocks here. So, they definitely should be able to fit through here. We can even fit through. Then they can drop down, and yeah, now I will just dig down till the silverfish die from the impact and um, rise it one more block then so that they are a one hit kill. Okay, from this distance they die, so we have to go up one block. Yeah, let's just count how many blocks. We got here one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and a half. So, what's the hell? Then they should have four hearts. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close it off here. And I already connected um, the door back there to the other side and brought my dogs down. Okay, I sh should get my dogs in here. So... Ah, <laughs> of course I hit the dog. Yeah, they are all one hit kills except for this guy because he came out of this block there. Come, come over here. Let's see if he can teleport. Yeah, up there is the portal where I came here. Yes, he teleported. And uh, that's just a quick connection. Oh, he teleported again. So, the idea is the silverfish will drop down, attack us, and the dog kills them. Let's just stand here for a moment and see more silverfish come and we don't need uh, to do anything to get 6p we just can stand here afk um, but there is not the trouble uh, like we have it with the cave spider farms that if you forget about coming back or stand afk too long that um, yeah 
your game will lag. You will just get more XP in this case. Yeah, it's working nice. So, but now, usually, the, the old problem was with these farms, uh, your hunger bar is going down after a while. And if you are FK, you can eat. So, um, you would stop regenerating uh, hearts and then the silverfish could kill you. But with the beacons, we can now set up a regen beacon. Yeah, but it's working nice already. And um, it will restore our hearts all the time. Okay, so the beacon is running. Now we'll put a couple fans here to yeah, prevent it from getting... Yeah, prevent mobs from dropping down. So there are no creepers or things like that. And I think we will activate resistance and um, regeneration. I guess that's the uh, most useful things for the silver mm -hmm. fish farm. And now... Yeah, re regeneration and resistance, that's nice. Now we can try it, it should work. Okay, so level 30. It's not not very fast, but it's fully AFK and um, I think I will see how many XP I can get overnight. Maybe I can record with a low frame rate and uh, speed it up afterwards. I will try. But yeah, we'll g get rid of these levels and start with level 0. Stand here overnight and uh, and see which level we can reach.
alright, I was AFK here for around 10 hours or maybe 11 hours, 10 or 11 hours and reached level 100. So one level is just from um, killing a few silverfish while I was filling, finishing the build here. And um, yeah, I want to, to spend this level on repairing a few tools and enchanting. But at first I want to show you around what I have changed here and how everything is working. So at first we got the spawner off and spawner on switch. At the moment it's turned off. And uh, yeah, wait, I have to go, go this way. And the switch is connected to um, the li glowstone lamps we set up on top. And at the moment it's turned off, so the glowstone lamps are turned on can see it here um, and I simply wired it by having these uh, half slab wires uh, up and of course it needs to be inverted to be on at the moment. Yeah also um, inside the spawner I replaced these blocks with glass so no silver f uh, silverfish can spawn while it's turned off and um, yeah, I don't think the, the, the silverfish sometimes need a little bit longer to drop down there is a, a big problem because it uh, worked nice this time. So, as I said, uh, 10 or 11 hours to uh, get 100 levels. Um, 100 levels is the same amount of XP you would need to get um, 35 times to level 30. Um, so, it would take 18 to 20 minutes to uh, get to level 30 with this farm and I think that's about the same you would need with a cave spider farm. But yeah, besides the on and off switch, I added a second switch here. And at the moment it's set to auto XP mode. That just means that we can stand in here and automatically get XP. So if we drop down, yeah, like I did it. Um, but we also can switch it to send them to hell and this uh, lever is wired up here it's coming from down here and going up and is connected to these pistons so these th three pistons in the center here and of course also on the other side um, close off the room there and then these two pistons, oops, I didn't meant to do that. These two pis pistons open um, the gate here and let water flow this way because then the silverfish don't drop down but fall into these water streams and uh, get transported into this nether portal. And um, the reason why I added this option is um, you maybe know the silverfish mining. Um, if you don't know what it is, I will link a video of Spaddle Flux uh, where he shows it. Um, but also Iso's lab, of course, or Iso, um, of course, experimented uh, with silverfish mining. And I want to try that uh, out as well. I don't think it's super useful, but it, uh, it looks like fun. And it's based on that silverfish can enter um, stone blocks, cobblestone, bl and st cobblestone blocks, and um, then destroy them when they get called by another silverfish for help and um, yeah so you can mine stone and the ores will uh, still be there yeah we'll close that here and also I had to um, move the portals a few times because now this portal and that portal there are separated so if you go through this, this portal you get out an, an other portal than that one so let me just go through here, that's the player portal then I should get out here, yep, that's working alright and that's where the second portal connects to and you can see it down there I already collected a few silver fish um, but let's get back to the farm we also want to spend the 101 levels still and I would say we can just do that now Let's turn the farm on again, so we can collect some more silverfish in, in the nether. And yeah, let us f at first try uh, enchantment on the diamond pickaxe. Level 30, let's see. Yes, efficiency 4 on breaking 3, that's, that's really nice. 
Um, then I got this efficiency uh, 4 unbreaking 3 pickaxe and uh, almost broken one. And for 21 levels we can repair to uh, unbreaking 3 efficiency 5 pickaxe. Yeah, you maybe know it with uh, the haste 2 potion effect and efficiency 5 pickaxe you can instant mine stone, which is really cool for mining. So I also got this efficiency 4 silk touch 1 pickaxe and another almost broken efficiency 4 unbreaking 3. And guess what, we can combine it for 33 levels. Also sometimes you should try to move them around but it's the their um, cheaper way to do it this way. <laughs> you see the other way around, it's too expensive. But uh, yeah, for 33 levels we can combine these two to an efficiency 5 silk touch 1 unbreaking 3 pickaxe. Oh, I think that's the best pickaxe you can possibly get. Maybe with fortune, but I like silk touch m more personally. So yeah, now we have 17 levels uh, left. I don't know, we could enchant us a new chest plate or something. No, no I, I think I will just keep them for later. Um, so I think that's it for today's episode. Um, that's the farm. It's working nice, yeah. It's uh, it's not really, of course, it's way slower than an Enderman farm or other super fast XP farms. But it's a spawner trap where you don't have to use potions and you don't ho have to be around. Um, so. I like it. I'm not sure if I will use it a lot because it's so far away from my main base. It's, I think in the nether it's still uh, 800 blocks or I'm not sure, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more. But uh, still ways to go and so I'm not sure if I will use this farm a lot. But still a nice build so goodbye and see you next time.